Hi guys, well, nice. welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the beautiful town of Bulionesi. The temperature is about 13 degrees. Yeah. yeah, the sun is coming out. We're in the middle of winter and it's about 11 11 30 a.m. so that you have an idea for perspective when you see the light and the different rooms. This house room today, guys, is a, a, a very large house, I, I, I would almost say gigantic, uh, about 400 square meters. It's got a nice uh, outdoor area, so like a yard. Great kitchen, as you can see. Yeah, um, the kitchen that the type of kitchen that people have asked for. And yeah. However, it does need uh, on the other floors. It needs it needs some renewing, some, some up, it needs updates. Some updating. Yeah, and uh, but the price is reflected in that. The price is very very good. You're going to have to move very quickly on this house because it's had a lot of local interest um, at this price. So, If you're considering purchasing a home with friends as well, which a few people have um, told us before, we think that this is a perfect home for that because you're going to have different areas for privacy as well. Yeah. So multi-family or different owners, I think is the way, this house is the way. Yeah, great. Yeah. So we hope that you enjoyed this video and let us know what you think in the comment section. We'll see you in the next Thanks, one. Thanks guys. Gulionesi is a stunning town in the region of Molise with a population of over 5,000 people and an altitude of 369 meters above sea level. Its history dates back to 435 BC. And as you walk around the historical center, you can admire its gorgeous stone buildings and cobblestone streets. You can walk around for hours as you visit its seven churches, admire the fantastic landscape from any of its lookouts, or just hang at a local restaurant or cafe with the locals. The position of Gulionesi is fantastic for those who prefer to be close to the sea as the beaches of Termoli are only a short 15 minute drive while still living in a place with a tight knit community. Okay guys, so this is the house that we're going to be looking at. Now, at the moment, the house doesn't have access for car as it is. You have this a couple of stairs to get there to the garden, but we believe that it will be possible to construct a ramp here and then um, you'll be able to feed two or three cars at least. So once we pass the gate, we find uh, extensive garden that wraps around the house and then you have this other area of garden here we have one balcony on this side and a few other balconies on the other side of the house and within this structure we have this stairwell that will take us to the different floors Here you have access to the side of the house and we have some storage space over there. Here we have the land room and the entrance is really, really nice.
Here we have a nice and wide entrance. Our first floor will be up those stairs. Our storage area and a cantina down that way. And here we have our kitchen, living and dining area. The doors are nice and wide. So if you need to take furniture out or in, you'll have no problem doing so. And this is what we say is a perfect home for a large family or for quite because a few The people. space down here is super nice and super cozy. We have the view of one of our front windows, a fireplace. They have a TV area back there, but you can see the size of the lounge. As Aiden mentioned before, is 400 square meters um, the size of this home. So it's really um, substantial. And from each window, you have a very nice view of the greenery outside in the garden. And also from Thermoli, if you want to open the windows over there. We are about 20 minutes from Thermoli and about 15 minutes drive to the beach and of course there are bus services that will take you to surrounding towns and also to Thermoli where you can find the train station and then it will connect you with the rest of Italy. We will give you more information on the services of the town in the information cards at the end of the video, so be sure to stick until the end. Now we have here our dining area. Yes, I know, most likely you're going to change the color of the walls. Um, actually, that the pattern that you see on some of the walls of the houses we tore have been in, in fashion um, here in this area of Italy for quite a while and it's actually expensive. I'm gonna get closer to that you see. The paint has some shine to it so you people have paid extra for having um, the walls painted like that and I guess that's what happens with fashion. Sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't, some people may love it, some others don't. Here is where we started this video and we did the introduction. The kitchen is really workable. It has a nice stove. Look, six places, which is not very common in Italy. And as you know, it's not very common in most houses. Um, in Italy to find large homes like this, especially when you have houses in the middle of historical centers and such. The flooring is really nice. And over here, we have a window that faces the front of the house. The ceilings are high, and I imagine this will be some kind of storage. Ah, okay, I hadn't opened this door before. So here we have our washing machine. There seems to be a boiler there and a window. This house is currently being used pretty much as a weekend home. Is this our fridge? yeah okay lots and lots of cupboard space here this area of the house is super comfortable super neat ready to be used Now let's go to the first floor. Wow. 
Here is where we think that this house may benefit from some uh, updating and is reflected on the price of the house as it is. At the moment it's listed for 105,000 euros. Here we have our first room. Pretty large. And we have a balcony that faces the side of the house. And thermally is just right there. Beautiful blue skies. The gate to enter the house and then the side garden. And I'm saying that this is the side because I consider the door the front of the house, which is that way so let's keep calling this the side and that the front of the house okay let's stick to the left hand side of this home we have our second bedroom here and this is the bedroom that they're currently using on weekends it has beautiful doors and an amazing view. We'll go to the balcony in a second. As you can hear, there is someone cutting the grass. So forgive the extra noise that you're going to um, hear. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us continue to bring you the content you love. I will share the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille! You will be here on the balcony looking at the beautiful olive grove there. And on a clear day, you will be able to see thermally over there. And maybe the sea is just um, pretty foggy. And from here, actually, there's another town called San Martino in Pensiles, right there. And we can see the water tower. This balcony connects with that room over there. So we'll go around and check that out. Oh, look at the light. Okay, beautiful light. Now, when I came to this room for the first time, I thought it was a bedroom, but then I turned around and it seemed like at some point it was a kitchen as well. And that's why we say that this could be a very good multifamily home because you already have the connections there for another kitchen while having a great kitchen downstairs. Or I guess if you need it as a bedroom, you could just set it up as so. You have already the radiators here, the connection for the radiators. And the balcony that we checked out a second ago. And the bedroom with the only bed set up is right there. And now we're going to see our bathroom. And now we're facing the front of the house. Our door is there. And the gate is over there. Oh. 
Okay, we're not going downstairs just for the moment. We're going to continue upstairs to the second floor. If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent legal advice and support at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. That's Rossini with two N's. This area of this house is less used and it gets way less ventilation than the rooms below. Here you probably have to do some work with the humidity of the walls. The roof is in good condition, so there is no water leaking into the house. It's just the fact that the windows have been closed for quite a while and that it doesn't get used at all this area. Here we have another balcony facing the side of the house. And if we continue over here, we're going to have another bedroom. Very cute shape with an awesome view again. And then we have another bedroom here, very good size as well, cute roof line with a balcony. Because the owners don't use this part of the house often, they have put some netting on the balcony to avoid pigeons coming in. Here we have a bathroom with a window facing the front of the house, but it could certainly do with some updating. Okay, so we just made our way from the two stories above and now we're gonna go to the cantina and the storage area on the lower level so here is the cantina and we have also a fireplace space for cooking water and probably i would say there is gas over there and there's enough space for a big table for you to get into making your tomato sauce and your preserves without getting too dirty your kitchen upstairs. And here we have a storage room. If we continue um, over here, we have a larger storage area. It's not quite a garage because you don't have access over there for a car, so it's mainly for storage and maybe a workshop. And then over here, we have another bathroom and laundry area. And the area where you have the impianto and the, the connections for the boiler and everything else.
Now, your property finishes here. So you will need to put up a fence. In Italy, they make beautiful iron fences and they're not expensive at all. So if you would like to put a fence up there, that would be great as the rest of this area over here is your own. And then if we come through here, we have more space for vegetables over there and we'll be back on the ground floor and the entrance of the house right there. So we have pretty much three bedrooms and one bathroom on the top level, three bedrooms and another bathroom on the middle level or a kitchen if you want to leave that one as an extra kitchen and then we have our living and dining area over here and the cantina and storage down over there. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope that you enjoy touring this villa in Gulyonesi with us. Please let us know what you think in the comment section and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity, your extra support is really appreciated. If you would like to enjoy more of our personal and everyday content, be sure to check out my personal channel. We have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching other home tours, please click here. If you would like to watch the videos of our own purchase and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!